Hello coders, I welcome you all. In this video, we are going to discuss how to create a web application for CRUD, create, read, update and delete operations on MySQL using Streamlit. As you can see here, we are going to create web application like this that can perform different operations like create, read, update and delete on MySQL database using Streamlit that you can see over here. So let's get started. So for that, we are going to use PyCharm and MySQL Workbench that you can see over here. So let's get started. So let me click on this and let me enter my given password. So now let's create new database first. Let me give name crud underscore new one. You can give any. Let me execute this query. As you can see here, our database is successfully created. Let me press this refresh button as you can see over here. Let me comment this out and let me use this newly created database. Let me execute this query. As you can see here, currently we are using this database. Also, you can click on particular database to use or you can use this use command. So now let's create new table in this particular database with name users. Let me create first column ID of type integer. Let me set this as a primary key and also auto increment our next column name, which is worker. 50 and third column email again where care 50 let me execute this query as you can see here now our table is successfully created with this name users let me press this refresh button as you can see over here let me click on this icon as you can see here now our table is successfully created that you can see over here having three columns ID name and email now let's jump to PyCharm and let me import mysql dot connector as you can see here no module name mysql so let me click on this and let me install this package let me click on this as you can see over here now installation process is going as you can see here now our package is installed successfully that you can see over here now let me import streamlet as st as you can see here no module name streamlet so let me click on this and let me press this install package streamlet as you can see here installing package streamlet so we have to wait as you can see over here package is installed successfully as you can see here now our required libraries are successfully installed that you can see over here so now our first step establish a connection to mysql server so let me write establish connection to mysql server is one so let me write mysql dot connector dot connect and here we have to pass host name in our case available on local host now here we have to pass user in my case user is root and also we have to give password that we have given over here on mysql workbench let me enter my given password and our database name this one crud underscore new one that you can see over here let me assign it to one variable my db is equal to this statement and now we have to create one cursor object my db this one dot cursor and let me assign it to one variable my cursor is equal to this statement let me check connection so for that let me print one message connection established let me run this code as you can see over here now we are successfully connected with our database that you can see over here now let's move to our second step we are going to create streamlet web app so let me create one function with name main and to call this let me write if underscore underscore name underscore is equal to underscore main then call this function main so now let's first display title for our web app using st dot title crud operations with my sql you can give any let me save this and let's run our web app to run this we have to write streamlet run our app name crud dot pi this one let me execute this command as you can see over here our title crud operations with my sql title that we have given so now let's first display options for crud operations and let me write st dot sidebar dot select box so user can select crud operations so let me write select and operation which operations create read update and delete let me save and let me run streamlet run crud dot pipe as you can see over here from here user can select different operations create read update and delete that you can see over here so now let's create 
template to perform selected CRUD operations like create, read, update and delete. So here we are going to perform selected operations like create, read, update and delete. And first let me assign this to one variable option. So if option equal to create, so here we will write code to create a record. So now let me give subheader create a record. Let me save this and let me press rerun. And let me click on this as you can see over here create a record. So let's give four other operations read update and delete as well. Elif option equal to read then let's give subheader read records. Elif option equal to update then subheader is update a record elif option equal to delete then let's give subheader as delete a record let me save this and let's rerun this web app let me click on this as you can see over here subheader create a record as you can see here read records as you can see update a record and delete a record so now let's write logic for this for create read update and delete so we can perform this CRUD operations with MySQL. So let's first write code for create a record. So let's take user input. So st dot text input. Here user can enter name. Let me assign it to one variable name. And here user can input email. Let me save this and let me rerun this code. Let me click on this. As you can see here to create a record user will enter name an email address. So let me create one button with name create. So this record will be created when user press this button with name create. So for that we have to write insert query insert into users which is our table name name and email and values percentage s and percentage s that we are taking from the user this name and email this name and email and let me assign to one variable SQL is equal to this query and another variable well is equal to his name and email. Let me arrange it properly. Now here we have to use my cursor dot execute to execute this query. Let me pass this query and value. Let's commit changes to the database using my DB dot commit and let me print success message record created success fully. Let me save this and let me rerun this code. Let me enter my name and email address. Let me press on this create button. As you can see here record created successfully. Let me check as you can see here currently I am using MySQL workbench and let me press this refresh button. Let me click on this as you can see over here. We have successfully created this record using our web app that you can see over here. So this way we can create a record using MySQL and Streamlit. So now let's write code for our next operation read this one. So let me write my cursor this one dot execute to execute our query. Let me write select all from our table users and let me write my cursor dot fetch all to fetch all the records and let me assign it to one variable result is equal to this statement to display this we have to use for loop so for row in result and we have to write st dot write to print using streamlet and this row this one let me save this and let me rerun our web app as you can see over here we can able to read our records that you can see over here let's enter new record with name anil anil at the rate gmail.com and let me press this create button as you can see here record created successfully now let me press this read as you can see over here we can able to read all the records so we have successfully completed our second operation read that you can see over here so now our next operation update so let's first take id from the user so we are going to update a record as per given ID. So enter ID and let me assign it to one variable ID and let's take new name from the user enter new name and let me assign it to one variable name. Let's take new email ID from the user enter new email and let me assign it to one variable email. So if user press this button with name update then we have to update a record 
सो लेट्स राइट माई सिक्वल क्वेरी अपडेट यूजर्स अवर टेबल नेम एंड वी हैव टू सेट नेम इक्वल टू परसेंटेज एस ईमेल इक्वल टू परसेंटेज एस वेर आई डी इज इक्वल टू परसेंटेज एस एंड वी हैव टू अपडेट वैल्यू फॉर नेम एंड ई मेल एस पर गिवन आई डी एंड लेट्स एग्जीक्यूट दिस क्वेरी हैविंग दिस क्वेरी एंड विद दिस वैल्यू ऑल्सो लेट्स कमिट द चेंजेस एंड लेट्स प्रिंट सक्सेस मैसेज रेकॉर्ड updated successfully let me save this let me close this connection and let's run our app once again as you can see over here our records let me click on this update button as you can see here by default id is 0.00 we will change it shortly let me enter 2 we are going to update second record a new name rahul and let me give new email address rahul@gmail.com let me press this update button as you can see here record updated successfully now let's read our records as you can see over here we have successfully updated our record this one that you can see over here so this way we can perform create operation read operation and update operation let's set it to 1 because our record starts with 1 id 1 so let's give minimum value equal to 1 let me save and let's rerun our web app let me check as you can see over here so this way we can perform create read and update now let's code for delete to delete a record here so we are going to take id to delete a record enter id let me assign it to one variable id if st dot button delete if user press this button then record will be deleted let's write my sql query delete from table users where id equal to percentage s and well here we have to pass couple with one value so we have to write like this id and comma and let's execute this query using my cursor dot execute query and value let's commit this transaction and let's print success message using st dot success record deleted successfully let me save this and let's rerun our web app again here we have to set minimum value to 1 so let's read records we are going to delete this first record so let me click on this delete and record 1 let me press this delete button as you can see here record deleted successfully let me check let's read our records as you can see over here we have successfully deleted our record that you can see over here so this way we can perform crud operation using mysql and streamlit that you can see over here let's set minimum value to 1 here let me rerun our web app as you can see over here so this way we can perform crud operations create read update and delete that you can see over here using mysql and streamlit that you can see over here hope you like this video please don't forget to subscribe this channel if you like this video smash that like button thank you very much for watching this video take care bye bye see you in the next video